The Suspect Wore Louboutins by Nancy Jo Sales. Alexis Nyers told cops that she and Nick Pergo had been drinking at Beso, a trendy bar restaurant on Hollywood Boulevard, when Pergo got a call from Rachel Lee telling him to come and meet her. It was July 13, 2009. Nyers said she knew that Pergo and Lee, both 19 and former classmates at Indian Hills, alternative high school in Agora Hills, an affluent suburb of Los Angeles, had been burglarizing the homes of celebrities. This included Paris Hilton, Lindsay Lohan, Rachel Bilson, Audrina Patridge, and others she was not sure about, according to the LAPD's report. Nyers, 18, said that she was drunk and not sure what was going on as Pergo parked his white Toyota on the road by a house in the Hollywood Hills. Later, she said she would find out that it was the home of Pirates of the Caribbean star Orlando Bloom. Her friends knew that Bloom was in New York shooting a movie. They researched this kind of information on celebrity websites like TMZ. They discovered the locations of stars' homes on Google Maps, and Nyer said that Lee and another girl, Diana Tamayo, 19, got out of Lee's white Audi A4, and the four kids walked uphill to Bloom's residence, a stark black mansion. Nyers didn't want to go inside, she said, but still she followed. She told police that Pergo, Lee, and Tamayo seemed to be covering their faces with their hoodies, apparently in order to hide from security cameras. Lee cut a section out of the chain-link fence surrounding the property, Nyer said, and the kids crawled through it. She said they went around the house, checking windows and doors, finally finding an unlocked door by Bloom's pool area. They went inside, and the other kids started to ransack Bloom's home, according to Nyers. That night, they would allegedly steal close to 500000 in Rolex watches, Louis Vuitton luggage, clothing, and artwork. What are you doing? Get me the fuck out of here, Nyers said she screamed. Then she went outside and threw up and peed in the bushes. On November 16th, Nyers arrived at Los Angeles Superior Court for her arraignment with an E-Reality crew in tow. Her show, originally intended to be about her life as a party girl on the Hollywood scene, had now become a chronicle of her effort to stay out of jail. She was being charged that day with one count of residential burglary of Orlando Bloom's home. In the media, she was being called a member of the Burglar Bunch, the Bling Ring, nicknames for the most successful and outrageous burglary gang in recent Hollywood memory, a gang of well-off kids from the Valley. Camera crews from local news stations, Good Morning America, Dateline NBC, and TMZ were waiting outside Department 30 on the third floor of the courthouse. Producers from various shows murmured as Nyers, a former hip-hop and pole dancing instructor, sat calmly on a bench, allowing a makeup woman to touch her up. A leggy girl with long, dark hair and shimmering blue-green eyes, Nyers was wearing a tweed miniskirt, a pink sweater, and six-inch Christian Louis Vuitton heels. I have a pretty cool shoe collection going on right now, she said. The LAPD's report on the bling ring states that Nick Pergo told cops that Rachel Lee, a Korean-American girl from Calabasas, a wealthy suburb in the valley, was the driving force of the burglary crew and that her motivation was based on her desire to own the designer wardrobes of the Hollywood celebrities she admired. Charged in the case are Nyers, Pergo, Lee, Tamayo, their friend Courtney Ames, 19, and Roy Lopez Jr., 27, a bouncer Ames knew from a waitressing job, all have pleaded not guilty except for Lee, whose arraignment was pending at press time. Between October of 2008 and August of 2009, the alleged members of the Bling Ring collectively stole more than $3 million in jewelry and high-end designer goods from a number of young Hollywood players, Hilton, Lohan, Patridge, a regular on the reality show The Hills, Bilson, former star of The O.C., original Beverly Hills 90210 cast member Brian Austin Green, and his girlfriend, actress Megan Fox. They are said to have tried to rob high school musicals Ashley Tisdale, too, but fled when they discovered a female houseguest. 
The thieves apparently had a taste for luxurious brands, Chanel, Gucci, Tiffany, Cartier, Prada, Marc Jacobs, Dolce & Gabbana, Burberry, Yves Saint Laurent. They allegedly stole clothes, shoes, handbags, makeup, perfume, underwear. They also stole green Sig Sauer 380 semi-automatic handgun. At the lawyer's office a week before her arraignment, Nyers denied any involvement in the burglaries. I'm a firm believer in karma, she said, and I think this situation was attracted into my life because it was supposed to be a huge learning lesson for me to grow and expand as a spiritual human being. I see myself being like an Angelina Jolie, she said, but even stronger. Pushing even harder for the universe and for peace and the health of our planet. She was sounding almost like a real celebrity. God didn't give me these talents and looks just to sit around being a model or being famous. I want to lead a huge charity organization. I want to lead a country for all I know. Moments before her arrangement began, a news producer approached, asking Nyers for an interview. I'm going to make a statement on the courthouse steps, the pretty defendant promised. She runway walked into the courtroom as the camera started rolling. Nick Pergo has a different take on the events of the night of the Bloom burglary. We didn't even go to Beso that night, he said, a slender boy with an angular face and small brown eyes. He was sitting in the front of the fire at the Encino home of his lawyer, Sean Ernstoff, on a rainy night in December. Charged with seven counts of residential burglary, each bringing a possible sentence of two to six years, Pergo is potentially facing serious time. In October, he confessed to police without first getting a deal. For weeks after he was arrested on September 17th, after being fingered by a tipster, he denied everything. But then, he says, he was finding it difficult to breathe, sleep, eat. I was even losing my hair. He confessed to crimes we didn't even know he committed, Officer Brett Goodkin, the lead investigator in the case, said on the phone. Even though I was charged with more, you know, things, Pergo said, I still think it was the right thing to do. He said that on the night of the Bloom burglary. My parents were out of town. Alexis's mom had kicked her out of the house, so Alexis moved in with me. Nyers also told cops that her mother kicked her out of her home. Pergo, according to the LAPD report, said the reason was that Nyers had been smoking oxycotin. Obviously, it's not true, said Nyers. Nick Pergo's credibility is questionable at best, says her lawyer, Jeffrey Rubenstein. Miranda Kerr, a Victoria's Secret model, was dating Orlando Bloom, and Rachel wanted Victoria's Secret model's clothes, said Pergo. Lee's lawyer, Peter Korn, would only say, I don't want to participate in the media's attention in this case. We plan to meet at Bloom's, Pergo said. Me and Alexis met Rachel and Diana. We went up to the house. The surveillance video from Bloom's residence on the night of the robbery shows four youthful-looking figures coming up a lamplit hill all covering their heads with their arms and hoods while walking backward, apparently trying to hide their faces from security cameras. How would a drunk person, so sick, throwing up, as Nyers claimed she was, be walking backwards? Up a hill, Pergo said. Whenever they robbed celebrities' homes, Pergo said it went like this. You grabbed a suitcase and you filled it up with whatever you wanted. He said Lee called it going shopping. In Bloom's master bedroom, Rachel found a stash of Rolexes in like $1,500. Alexis grabbed a Louis Vuitton laptop-sized bag, and she was rocking it as a purse. Miranda Kerr had a dress there by Alex Perry, like a one-of-a-kind runway dress. She took that. 
The Bloom surveillance video shows two of the four figures coming and going up and down the hill with large bags several times between 3 and 4 a.m. The bags are so unwieldy that one of the figures stumbles. Pergo said that he and Nyers left around 5 a.m., but Lee and Tamayo went back inside. Lee said, I want artwork because I'm moving to Vegas and I want to decorate my house.